you are highly welcome to Ropinga YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a special intro video to your social media handle. So stay tuned till the end of this video. You'll learn more about what you are supposed to need to create intro video for your channel. Yes, and again, what you need to use to create this YouTube intro video is one the template i'll show you where to get the template after that you just need a text and then what a plain background these are the three things that you need to use to create intro video for your social media handle please let's venture into the tutorial it's just going to be quick 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 uh, it will be good for you to help you to get more viewers subscribers a lot of them so let's go into the tutorial to edit your intro video for your social media handles you need to use this app CapCut so let's go into the CapTag CapCut so when you open CapCut like this you go to new project click on new project when you click on new project you see library top here you click on library so you wait now scroll it to left scroll it to left and then you click on background so when you click on background you take the black background black background like this and then add it to your project that is simple so you now choose the ratio the ratio aspected ratio is 69 so you go back and text you add your text i'm going to add my name ropinga finger underscore vfx that is my channel name so you you can change the font by typing the font you can add any style so i'm going to use the font is resolve resolve that is it so you can add any style of your choice you can change the color everything they are here so i'm going to use this one uh, let me see style which style am i going to use or effect which effects am I going to use? So let me use this effect. So that is great. So you extend this one to meet the background. So that is it. This is how it is. So we have not yet finished. You still go back to the library. Click on add overlay. Go to your library like this. Take the black background and add it to the project yes so when you add it like this still you will not see the effect of this second background so what you need to do is go to a uh, layer and then send it to your left like this you will now see that the background has covered the text so when it what we need to do is now to adjust it nicely so that adjust it nicely adjust it nicely like this so let it go back to your your left like this now you come to max go to max go to max you click on max take horizontal max you now adjust it well with your two fingers adjust it well with your two fingers adjust it well so that it will be 90 90 ladders so you move you click on this uh, arrows and move to your right like this so you see the effects now so that is it so that is it so that is it so when i click the good side now we are going to add frame frame to uh, this one so you add it here 
first one and come to the end of the this one and add it so you now pull it from your left to your right like this and then adjust it like this adjust it like this that's great that's okay let's play and see this is how it is this is how it is that is so amazing so you now export this video export this template you are exporting this template so you go back again go to new project go to library we are now going to do uh, add our uh, logo to the uh, intro so you take the background like this take your ratio like this that is great now still we are going back to our library add overlay now add overlay come to the library now we are not going to pick the black one we are going to pick the white one so you pick the white one at uh, this that is great i just need to fill the screen go to max we are going to max click on max take circle that is it that's it so we are not going to do anything again you see now what we are going to do now is go and add your logo we are going to add our logo our logo can be a picture or anything so this is the logo that i'm going to add this is the picture that i'm going to use as my logo this is the picture that i'm going to use as my logo i just it nicely i just it nicely so you still adjust it to the end of the background so now go to max max click on max take circle now adjust your logo well adjust it well adjust it well Take your time and adjust it nicely. Take your time and adjust it nicely. That is great. You click on done. Now you bring back the logo to the quite this one. Adjust it nicely. That is okay. So we have not yet done. We still go back to the library and bring a black background library we are picking black background like this so we have added the black background so take note this is where we are going to leave it so we go to go to max go to max then take horizontal then turn it this way adjust it well so you pull this one to the left that is so that is okay so, so you now move this one click on the background and move it this way so what we need you add frame first here go to the letter pass letter part and add another frame now move this one to your right like this that's great let's play and see have you seen have you seen what i'm seeing my if this one has not taken effect well the maximum so we do it nicely the mass is not so that it's okay that's great we now export it to the bar to our gallery we are going to finalize it now we are going to finalize it now so you go back to your project add them as new project add all of them as new project excuse me add all of them as new project you add this one and this one and as project take your ratio 16 9 as it now you add your template we are going to overlay add overlay and this is our template here our template i'm adding my template so let's adjust it fill the screen now what you need spice 
you need to spy this click on spy line go to filter that is so great so you now play it. let's adjust it nicely to meet our favorite okay so let's play still still we have not yet what we are looking for so let's adjust it it's more to hit our favorite that's great we are hard it this time around we had it you can see that we had it so that's how to create intro logo for your channel thank you for watching you don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel for more update click on export now Now you are done for your blue That is how it is. Wow, can't you see that it is amazing? So that is how it is. So you can try more about it.